hey youtube welcome back to my channel today's video is a makeup basket for the week of today is march the 10th Let's see if i'm right march the 10th today is january the 10th maybe i'm trying to rush 2021 because it is off to a horrible start but um today is january the 10th this is my makeup basket for the week this is actually my first makeup basket of 2021 um, and we are going to jump right in with my face products slash eyeshadows, everything that is in a palette. So the first thing that I am going to be using this week is one of the things I picked up during like the holidays when it was on sale. And this is the Lorac Pro 4. I think it's the Pro 4. The Lorac Pro Palette 4. And it looks like this, very rosy looking, rosy neutral. Um, I also picked up over the holiday. Um, this is like my first ever eyeshadows from the company Give Me Glow. Um, I, I wanted to pick up that vintage rose palette. The actual palette sold out, but the eyeshadow single bundle was still available. So it is in a Tarte Magnetic palette. But these are, these eight down here, these are the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose Bundle. This is, I think, a Juvia's Place that I just kind of randomly put in here. But this is the Vintage Glow Bundle, and I will be trying to use that this week. I also picked up, and I feel like this was something that was just recently re-released. This is one of like one of my last purchases for 2020. Um, this is from ColourPop. It is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights X ColourPop collab. And this is what this looks like. And once I got this, or well, once I ordered it, then I heard from somebody else that the beauty what is it called let me grab the palette and i'll be right back all right so i went and grabbed the other palette which this is a palette that i did a video on back i think like in the summertime when i was buying all these colorful palettes from amazon once i picked up this so jaded palette i kept hearing about how this beauty glazed reversal planet palette was a dupe for it and <laughs> I think this one has more and my my um shadow just popped out of here all right so i have to be careful because one of the shades is loose and i need to hot glue it back in which is the one i have my finger on here so we'll just do it here but this is the reversal planet palette from beauty glaze and i will put the so jaded palette over top of it of course the reversal planet has more shades and this is a little bit difficult. Let's do it this way. This, okay, let's do, this is So Jaded. And this is Reversal Planet. So you can see how very similar these two palettes are. I will put that there so I can put it back in. But this is the palette that I will be using this week. We will see if there's a difference in the quality of the two. Um, so that is that. I also pulled out and I used today this Natasha Denona little mini palette that we got in our Bossy Charms. This is the Peak 5 Eyeshadow Palette. And I know a lot of you all have this. We were very excited to get this in our Bossy Charm boxes. Um, those are the eyeshadow palettes that I will be using this week. I have two face palettes. These are from Alamar Cosmetics. I have the Hydrating Complexion Trio in see it, but this is like the darkest sort of face palette that they have. So I have that in here for this week. I may or may not use this because I don't want that stuff all over my mask. And then they have the Colorette Blush Trio. And this one is in Dark Rich. And it looks like that. This. Oh my God, it's calling me to swatch it. That is pretty. I'm almost afraid that it's going to be like clownish. Then that is the middle shade. And this is that light 
shades. So these are the um, three. So the, the lightest shade has more of a sheen to it. So it would make your cheeks a little bit glowy. It wouldn't so much impart um, a lot of, well, it would part, impart some color, but it would give your cheeks a good sheen to them. And I, I kind of like that also. Um, so those are like the face and eye palettes that I am going to be using this week. As far as um, foundations for days and I don't have to wear my mask or if I'm going to be recording, I just um, did a video on this. This video will be coming up later on this week on the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. I have it in the shade Neutral Dark 24. And you can see what it looks like. But I'm going to keep trying this out with like different primers and different setting powders and stuff like that um, to see how it works. So far, like I'm having a hot flash. So um, I actually really need my Mally. Give me one second. I got to go grab Mally. All right. Had to, to grab the good old Mally Poreless Face Defender. Of course, you know, I have been using this forever. It never fails. So we are going to blot real quick right across here. This stuff is amazing. Took that shine right away. Um, I'm going to blot my forehead here. Sorry, this is supposed to be a makeup basket and I'm sitting here blotting makeup. But... Um, I was talking about the Bare Minerals Foundation. So that Bare Mineral Foundation, when I put it on, it felt like a serum -y foundation. And I'm not going to do a review. But it also, in the areas where I get oily. So I have mostly normal skin, but right across here I get really oily. And that foundation like almost immediately made me feel really oily. Sorry, I'm also sort of blotting sweat off my forehead. Um, so yeah, we all want to keep trying this foundation out this week to see. And um, that I think is the only foundation that I am going to be using this week. Um, my concealer is either going to be the Tarte double duty beauty shape tape i don't even know why i say double duty beauty because everybody just knows it as a tart shape tape so we are either going to be using that or i am going to be using the concealer that i use today which is the rare beauty by selena gomez in the shade 410n um as far as what is this oh this is cute. Maybe I'll use this. This was I left in because it's so small. I forgot it was in here. One of the um, e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. I have it. I just picked this up like on a whim from Target one day when I was in there shopping. But I have it in rose water. So I may try to use that one day also. Um, as far as like setting powders... I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Setting Powder in Tan to Dark, which will probably be used for under my eyes. And I still have not purchased that one in dark to deep or whatever they call it, but the darker one than this. I, I have it in my cart on Ulta, but I haven't picked it up yet. Um, so that'll be for under my eyes. And then I am either, I'm going to go back and forth with different setting powders. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury, what do you call this, Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder, whatever, it's too much to say, but I'm going to be using this, I have this in um, deep, or I am going to try two other ones, I am either going to try the Urban Decay All Nighter, which this one looks like really light but you can put it all over your skin and it doesn't make you look ashy and there's like a little flashback 
um, or I'm going to use the Smashbox and this one is the Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. I have this one in the shade 2 and it has like a grinder on the inside of it so that's what that looks like and then that's just the front of it. I just love the look of this because it looks like the lens to my camera. Um, I also pulled out and I used for the first time today. I just actually really picked this up. The uh, ColourPop Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Dark. And I really, really liked the way it looked when I put it on. But this is what Dark looks like. I like a little bit of red to the bronzer. Um, so we'll be using that. I pulled out a new um, mascara this week. So we are back to the old. And this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. We will definitely be using that this week. I forgot how much I really liked that. Like it was my favorite mascara. So I just opened a new one. Um, my lip colors are not going to be much. It's probably pretty much going to be lip balm all week. Because I don't want to get that stuff in my mask and nobody's going to see it. Today I did use the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss in Mocha Twist and the Glory Lip Liner from uh, Makeup Revolution. Um, as far as blushes. Alright, as far as blushes, it is probably going to be um, one of two blushes. So I have the um, MAC powder blush and raisin which I did use today you know this is a staple I had to buy another one because my other one disappeared I don't know where it went or when I want something sort of glowy I'm going to use the elf radiant peach blush well I don't know if this is radiant peach because I think my stuff was mismarked but anyway I'm going to be using this blush here that I think is my makeup basket for the week not too much I think this is one of my shorter makeup basket videos thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye